Metals. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Ben Hoover. Tonight, the Vietnam War ended, of course, more than 40 years ago, but many veterans from that era are still alive today. A woman from Roebuck says she needs your help to connect her to a Vietnam veteran she hopes to meet. Our Tobias Rodriguez tells her story. To be honest, I was in shock. Um, it's not something you would find every day at your local flea market where you're basically one man's junk is someone else's treasure. Heather Guy yeah. says she was shopping with her son at the Barnyard Flea Market in Greer when she stumbled upon two boxes of war medals hiding in a pile of Hot Wheels. She says a Purple Heart and Vietnam War era medals were what she found, something she says is part of American history. There's a lot of history when it comes to Vietnam soldiers and what they went through because it was one of the worst wars that our nation ever faced. Those soldiers went through a lot and they did not have what our soldiers have now. Guy is trying to find the veteran who these medals belong to. All she knows is the name marked on the back of the Purple Heart, Raymond E. Mitchell. It's a feeling that you can't explain because you know what you found, but you want to know the history behind it. Mm -hmm. Who it belongs to, where it came from, what type of injury did this man suffer fighting for the freedom that we have now. She says she is learning more about Mitchell from Purple Hearts Reunited, an organization whose mission is to return lost, stolen, or misplaced military medals. I want to give him his medals back. I want to reunite him with his medals. And to be honest, I just want to shake his hand. I don't want any type of recognition because, I mean, the man's fought for, he fought for my freedom. He's fought for everyone's freedom. And from a veteran to a veteran, I mean, I, I really just want to shake his hand. Reporting in Spartanburg County, Tobias Rodriguez, 7 News. Guy says if she cannot re reunite the medals with their owner, she will donate them to the Dorman High School Junior ROTC.